Good morning, it's Monday and my ribs are on fire. So my plan is to move to a third world country to make billions of dollars. And right now, I'm on a health kick. I'm sleeping on the floor, I'm trying the carnival diet to cure my IBS, which is working. I'm currently trying to figure out what foods are allowed. And I'm apparently waking up at 5.30 in the morning before my alarm. It finally warmed up enough to get out of bed. It's now 7 a.m. That shit's rough. Right, so today I'm going to go to the gym, drag my ass to the university library because I have an exam this week. And I need to study. Also, I'm trying one new thing today to see how my body reacts because I have IBS and sometimes I put my pants and we don't like that. I'd like to point out that it's painful to stand up straight right now because of this Swedish massage that was given by my floor. Okay, I've got like an inch of foam, but oh my god. Okay, I just had my morning broker, which is a thing I've been doing for the past four days. Let's go. Owie, owie, everything hurts. I hate life. That Barocca isn't sitting right in my stomach. Maybe Barocca's a bad idea. Then again, maybe sculling Barocca is the bad idea? I mean, yeah, that's probably it. I have had back injuries that didn't hurt as much as that walk. So, I'm still being affected by the sauerkraut with the farts and the, um, yeah. Um, to be fair, there is nothing wrong with sauerkraut. I just had way too much. It does cause gas. In some people. So I can't really do an experiment to see what else affects me, but I know for a fact that I do fine with citrus, and this is a big-ass mandarin. I got three of them. I, I, I'm gonna eat this. So. That tastes kind of bitter, like a lemon almost. 11 a.m. and my back still kind of hurts, but not nearly as badly. So I had those fruits, started a practice exam, and crashed so hard. I put myself in a glucose coma. I didn't, I haven't had one of those since I weighed like 200 kilo. That was a while ago. And now I've got a headache. Um, I have gone through what I need to do for my next exam, my first exam. Um, it's basically an entire textbook in what it is equivalent to 16 hours? Doable, I'll be fine. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and I feel so much better. Had a full night of sleep, didn't I? Either I've gotten used to sleeping on the floor, or adding the tiniest mattress topper did the trick. I'm walking upright, I'm only in moderate pain. This is pretty good. Okay, so maybe my inability to do a deadlift is the reason why I haven't got much done at the gym. Two whole sets. But it's not why I'm leaving. I'm definitely not. I, I, I've got things to do. Yep. Right, so it's been two hours since I got back. I have made all the modifications that was requested by the house inspector. They are coming in an hour. I should probably just potter around and pick things up. Well, I just had a really fun poop. I'm pretty sure it's the mandarins. That, that wasn't great. Apparently the inspection is not today. It is next month. I have wasted four hours of my day. It's 1 p.m. Lunch is finished cooking. I've got 10 eggs today. I need a fucking shower. But I, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be gross like a student and go to uni after lunch. That was a lot of studying. I got back at 10 p.m. Went to go walk the dog only to realize I needed to completely and utterly remake my bed. The dog did not approve of having to wait. He has been walked. It's now 11 p.m. I'm about to have a shower and a damn yum yum yum. Tired. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I've got an exam today and I've already spent an hour in bed more than I have to. Was this convenient? No. Did it feel good? Yes. Way up she rising, way up she rising, way up she rising, I lie in the morning. You know, for a guy that just slept on the floor, I'm feeling pretty good. Right, so sleeping on the floor is definitely affecting my workout routine. Um, sleeping on the floor is like stretching my back out, and my back and core say absolutely no to anything heavy on my shoulders. So I can't do anything with a barbell. And at the moment, that's like 90% of my exercise routine apparently. Or at least that's what the app is telling me. So I did 20 minutes of core exercises instead. Um, I think I did like 200 sit-ups, although they're more like crunches to be honest. But I'm calling them sit-ups because it feels nice. Right, so I've got an exam today and no packed lunches. That's not convenient. Well, I was planning on wearing one of my ugly shirts, but 
and to do the washing. So I 100% need to change up my study habits. Oh my god. I used to go to university to be a teacher. Fuck that shit. Um, it was 90% just concepts. And if you had a vague idea of what you're talking about, you're fine. Science is different. Like, I was acing the assignments and all that. But the exams. You need to know your shit. I did not even comprehend about a third of the questions in that exam. I mean, sure, it was open book and technically I could have gone through and found the thing. I did have an extra hour left over, but I don't do that. I'm a masochist. The only reason I'm looking in the textbook is because I literally do not know what a word means. And if I do not understand the concept when I find the word, I don't answer the fucking question. Is that dumb? Yes, but I have a higher standard than the university does, all right? I need to study harder for next semester. That was... I did not like that feeling. Went shopping, got some food, definitely ate too much, but I've got foods for later, and I should probably do the whole shower and sleep thing. Yep. How's it already been three hours? Good morning, it's Thursday. I do not know what I've done to offend God, but I'm up at 4.40 in the morning. So I came to the conclusion yesterday that I should probably budget this next financial year. Here in Australia, our financial year is um July. Opposed to America, which has it in December, January. June, July, to be exact. I've got my warm Barocca. Time to waddle off to the gym then. This is nice. I was supposed to put my clothes in the wash today. Oh, well. This shirt is fairly tight, but look at those muscles. I feel muscly today. So I had an ugly black jacket. I was going to wear it today, but I don't know where to put it to dry. I guess it could be in the car. Found it. My panic to clean up for the inspection, I put it in a box. It now smells musty. But I sprayed it with deodorant, so now I definitely smell like a uni student. Right. I was going to do a budget, wasn't I? So a few years ago when I was poor, I was getting $1,000 a month, and I was saving more money than I am now. To be fair to myself, I have made about a hundred grand's worth of business mistakes that I am paying off this year. But still, this is a problem. Today was rough. I got my results back from an assignment ages ago. I effectively got a C. I'm an A student. Um, that hurt me. I, I made some inquiries. Uh, she upgraded me to a B because apparently she can't do math. But still, the feels, man. Anyway, those feelings triggered other feelings, which in turn triggered some more feelings. Today has been a roller coaster, man. Like, bruh. The feels were riddles. Anywho, I did actually get something done. I started going through the readings for my next exam and making little notes um, and then putting those notes on the website for references for later because I think that's a good thing to do, maybe? At the very worst, I will have a reference list for later. Also, I went to the pub and I ordered onions with my food. And I'm really hoping that tomorrow I will not regret this decision. I love onions so much. Right, I was going to do something about budget today, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Good morning, it's Friday. So I thought about it long and hard. <laughs> That's what she said. And I don't think a normal budget is going to work for me. So I'm going to be working with a zero-based budgeting system. A.K.A. my incoming is going to equal my outgoing. This includes savings. It has been about 24 hours since I had onions at the pub. It wasn't many onions. It was like maybe a quarter of an onion, to be fair. Let's just say onions are no longer on the menu at all, ever. No. This makes me want to cry, and I do not have the emotional capacity to deal with this right now. So I'm ignoring it. All research indicates that garlic and onions are effectively the exact same thing when it comes to digestive issues, so that's definitely a no to garlic as well. The worst part about all of this is I don't actually know what causes IBS. People are saying it's food and fermenting and bloating and the nasties. But other people eat food with bacteria and it's probably fermenting in their gut, but they don't have the nasties. What? The fuck is different? What am I doing wrong? 
I like onions. I planned this big dance thing today, and I'm stuck on the fucking toilet. I mean, good thing no one showed up. Fucking young people. Good morning, it's Saturday. Oh, I think it's a little cold today, that's ice. So a few notes. One, I am feeling great. Two, I don't think I've watered the mealworms in about a week, which, considering I just collected a whole heap of pupa, um, which are water bags that the other mealworms are more than happy to eat, I may have fucked up there. Three, I'm going to have to sift more pupa tomorrow, because that is required. I don't want to. Four, the chicken shed is getting ripe. Five. The chickens and all the chicken stuff is going to need a whole bunch of stuff done once I finish these exams. Like, I'm going to be working on that farm for a whole week. Be for so many reasons. But yeah, um, this week is exams, or this coming week is exams, and the week after that is nothing but farm. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Right, I was going to make a budget matrix thingamabob, wasn't I? Budgeting flowchart? Budgeting flowchart. The income comes in. 50% goes to taxes. 50% goes to business. Then I pay 100, no, 1K to personal and business. That maxes out at 1K, and then the extra goes to savings. If the business account is less than 2K, it will be topped up by savings. If the business account goes over 5K, it goes to savings. If savings go over 3k, it goes into high interest savings, which is maxed out at 10k. And if that goes over, that goes into my stock portfolio. The combination of heaters in this library and my long sleeve shirt is making me so sleepy. Thankfully, I can change one of those things. And for some reason, I don't think that is helping. Today was boring, went to uni, went for a couple readings, did some sewing, and fell asleep a couple times. It's nearly 6pm, and I wish I had something that I could go home to and be excited about. I like working, I like being productive, but I need the projects to change. I would be quite happy if there was a project that I could do for two hours a day that I could hyper-focus on and just get shit done. And I, I don't know what that would be, because it's night time. Right, so productive hobby that gets me where I want to go in life. So the goal is to become a farm consultant in India, right? To be a farm consultant, I definitely need a website. Check. I need things on that website, like articles, but... That seems a whole lot like university. I was planning to write articles in between university breaks. But in order for people to read the articles, I need people to go to the website. So the best cold outreach that works for me with my skill set would be YouTube videos. Don't worry, I completely understand that these videos only get 12 views, ever. What I'm saying is when I want to make a good video, I can. So my new hobby is going to be four to five minute long edutainment videos about farming. I know a lot about farming, I know how to be funny, I can do voice acting, I just don't know how to animate yet. <sighs> this is what happens when you dopamine detox, you do all the things because you get so bored. Why do I want to go for a run? I went for a walk, a second one, without the dog this time. I, I am tired, I want sleep, but also I am very restless. I do not understand this feeling at all. Good morning, it's nearly 5am on a Sunday. Oh, I'm a freaking genius. I've tucked my shirt into my pants and I've got a hot bean bag and put that down the back of my top. And now I've got a nice hot warm thingy on my back where it hurts. Sleeping on the floor every single morning, my back hurts just a little bit. It usually clears up in a few hours. Though. Just doing the farm chores and I found something that doesn't make no sense. How the fuck did he get down there? Like, he's half the size of that. How? Ooh, I always forgot what this rush felt like. The project has started. <laughs> so I've already found an amazing YouTube series, very information dense, that I want to um, lighten up and make more fun. You know, more accessible to the general public. I've already contacted the creator to ask if I may do so. Obviously, I'm not going to copy word for word. I'm just going to use it as inspiration. But yes, I am. I am excited. Finally, some decent lighting. But yeah, this animation thing has been something I've been wanting to do for like a decade now. And I've finally got like all the things lined up and it's not going to be useless. 
Because there's nothing worse than being productive on something that is not going to be productive in the long run. The animation, the website, my dream job, it's all coming together. But yeah, uh, no big deal. All right, peace.